What's happening guys, Scott from A Hornet's Nest. Welcome back to episode 12 of Tutorial Tuesday. It's so good to see you. And in today's episode, we are going into how to connect multiple Arduinos to DCS BIOS, allowing you to expand the reach of your cockpit. By this stage, if you've been following along and you've been building ahead, you're probably coming to an area where you're running out of pins on one Arduino and it's time to expand into multiple. So let's show you how to do that with one simple program that you've already installed on your computer if you've been following along since episode seven, where we installed BIOS and bought. So let's get into it and show you how to do this real quick. Well, what we've got here is we've got our two panels that we'll be using for the tutorial, our interior lighting panel and our electrical panel. And they have a nice mix of different styles of inputs and different amounts. Our interior lighting panel is connected to an Arduino Nano and the electrical is connected to our Arduino Mega. The reason I'm using two different types of boards is one, to show you that you can use different boards throughout your cockpit and it's all going to work. And I'm going to show you that you can load a Nano up with more pin inputs than a Mega and it's still going to respond just as fast. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you the sketch in Arduino. So here we are in Arduino with two sketches side by side. Now, if you've been following along since the beginning, you should know how to code this by yourself. But for those that are just joining, let's do a quick rundown so you can follow along as well. On the left, we have the interior lighting panel connected to an Arduino Nano, registering as COM10. On the right, we have our electrical panel connected to the Arduino Mega, registering as COM3. Now, your COM numbers could be different. So write down what your COM numbers are. Don't use mine because it could very well be different. At the top of each sketch, we have our variables defined, allowing us to easily change them in the event that we want to connect them to different pins. And then we define the DCS IRQ serial, we include the library, and then we write the snippets from board. Now, if you're not quite sure what board is, it's because you haven't gone and watched episode seven, go re-watch that, see how I've installed it, because it's going to help you understand the rest of the lesson. Then we've got our void setup and our void loop on both, and they just stay the same. There's really not much to it other than now just uploading them. So we're going to click the arrow at the top left of each sketch and it's going to compile the sketch and then it's going to upload the sketch. And when that's done, we can upload to the mega compiling and it is uploading. Beautiful. Both of those are done. That is it. We have finished uploading the sketches. Let's get into connecting it to DCS BIOS. So let's exit out of Arduino and head to our desktop. So here we are on the desktop and if you've been following along, episode 7 is where it all started, you would have seen why I have these two applications on my desktop. We've got Bort and we've got Connect Serial Port Shortcuts. We connect to DCS BIOS using the Connect Serial Port. But when we click that, as we've seen in the past, we can only type in one number because I've only ever been showing you one panel at a time and you don't need multiple Arduinos for that. But how do we do this that we can connect multiple? Well, I'm going to show you a really quick way and we've already installed that program and you can use this even if you just have one because a lot of people have been asking, do I need to type that number in every time? No, you don't. The reason I type it in every time is purely for the lesson. So those joining for the first time can follow along. But now if your cockpit's all set up, it's in a stable state and you're not plugging it in and out of your computer all the time, you can use this method, whether it's one Arduino or 10 Arduinos, it's all going to work the same. So how do we get to it? We're going to open up our local to C drive and we are going to find our programs folder. Now, where did we put our programs folder? We put it in the DCS scripts folder in the saved games area. To get to that, we've got local to C, users, select your user, save games, DCS open beta, scripts, and you're gonna go and open up the programs folder. Somewhere in your list, depending on how it's ordered, you're gonna see multiple COM ports and it's a Windows command script file. You're gonna right click it, edit, it's gonna open up a text file and you're gonna to wanna to type in all your COM ports, whether it be one, two, three, or four, just separate them with a space. So my first one's gonna be three, space, 10. File, save. And that's about it. What we can do is we can close that window down and we just want to open up DCS. And while it's loading up DCS, we can go open up the multiple COM ports. 
And you're gonna see yourself with a window like this, keeping that open, and we're gonna see what it looks like when we get into the game. So here we are loaded up in the game and we haven't changed anything on the COM port window. What you might notice though, is there's no lines of code running indicating that it's working. We just have to trust the process and we'll see very soon if it's actually connected. We're gonna click into the cockpit and test one of our potentiometers. So taking the control potentiometer knob, we can see that it's moving pretty good, running its full range of motion, testing all our pots, everything is working beautifully. Even our light test switch will work, testing all of our advisories and cautions, and we can see we've got our battery switches working as well. Taking the left gen offline, putting it back online, right gen offline, back online. And if you really wanted to, you can take your battery offline as well. And all of it works. That's incredibly cool. We have just gone and learned how to connect multiple Arduinos to DCS BIOS using a single application. And we never have to type in those pesky COM port numbers ever again, as it's all saved into the file data. So yeah, go give this a go. Let me know how you went in the comments below. I always love reading the comments of how people are progressing with their Sims. And I'll see you in the next couple of episodes. And they're gonna be pretty cool because the cockpit frame is in the post getting delivered early next week. My mate who cut it out for me has done an incredible job and it's beautifully packed and I can't wait for that unboxing video. So stay safe, enjoy your flight simming and I'll see you in the next episode.